Hello everyone, uh, my name is Matthew Mullins and today I'll be presenting my research done here at UVI under the mentorship of Dr. Stephen Radford looking at the spatiotemporal variation in fish cleanings done by two common Caribbean cleaner shrimps and Silemones petersoni and Paraclemones yucatanicus that both inhabit the corkscrew anemone Bartholomea annulata. So marine cleaners are ecologically important in many coral reef ecosystems because they help maintain fish health by cleaning off external parasites. So in this video, you can see as the grunt approaches the anemone cleaning station to Peterson cleaning shrimp, uh, jump onto its body, clean the parasites under its scales, under its gills, and even inside its mouth. In this study, we uh, compared the client fish species, the fish visitation rates, and the rate of successful cleaning using over 140 hours of video collected by underwater cameras. The cameras were placed to film shrimp inhabited anemones in two sites in Brewers Bay, St. Thomas over a 10 week period. The first site, the inshore site, was about two to three meters in depth located near the dock of the Marine Science Center here at UVI. The offshore site was about seven to eight meters in depth, um, uh, located on a reef about that's just farther out in the, in the Brewers Bay. Both sites had approximately the same density of shrimp and anemones. And so when we look at the client fish species or the fish species that are actually visiting the cl uh, cleaning stations, uh, despite the proximity and the similarities of the two sites, there's still quite a bit of variation between the two. So in the offshore site, the majority of fish that visited were serranids, so harlequin basses and tobacco fishes, along with a lot of yellowtail snapper. And in the inshore site, the majority were acanthurids, uh, so doctor fishes, surgeon fishes, and tang. Uh, we also saw a lot of butterfly fish, and parrotfish. And then when we look at the occupancy rates or the percentage of time that a cleaning station actually had a fish visiting, um, the occupancy rates were low at both sites, but uh, there's still quite a bit of variation between the two sites and among uh, the same sites. So, uh, the inshore area, uh, shown here in orange, on average had about four times that the occupancy rate of the offshore site. And even within the same sites, there is quite a bit of variation. Uh, so the weekly average visits per hour varied about fourfold in the inshore site and about ninefold in the offshore site. And then when we look at the success rates of the, uh, the, the cleanings, so the percentage of fish visits that actually resulted in cleanings um, varied quite a bit. Uh, so sometimes a fish would swim up uh, to a cleaning station and there would be shrimp there, but the shrimp would not clean them for whatever reason. Um, but when we look at the success rates, uh, the offshore site, almost all of them resulted in cleanings while in the inshore site, uh, they resulted in cleanings about 40% of the time on average. Uh, and even here, we see quite a bit of variation over the 10-week uh, period among each site. Uh, and then when we look at Anemones that are located close to each other within the same area, there's still quite a bit of variation of which ones were being visited and which ones weren't. Um, so on the inshore site, 29% uh, of anemones that had shrimp were not being visited, uh, while almost 50% of the anemones with shrimp were not being visited at offshore. So for some reason, fish aren't visiting certain anemones um, and that means that those shrimp aren't getting the parasites to eat. 
And since we found, and since we found so much variation um, between the sites and between uh, anemones on the same site, whether it was the client fish species or how uh, successful the uh, cleanings were, um, there there's a there needs to be a lot of uh, research. Uh, to figure out exactly the, what is causing this much variation. Um, I've listed a few things here. One thing that we're, we're starting to look at since this study was done last year is uh, the interference by other fish. So if a fish is being cleaned and another fish swims up, the shrimp kind of gets scared and stops cleaning. And so that also ties in with Territorial fish like damselfish, who will try and get fish out of their out of their territory, and so if an anemone is in that territory, then uh, the success of cleanings seems to go down quite a bit. Um, and we have to remember that there this was done in Brewers Bay. And there's a lot of boat traffic and diver interference and all that kind of stuff. So. A lot, a lot more work needs to be done to figure out what may be causing this variation. I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Stephen Ratchford, and dedicate this talk to our longtime anemone associate, Dr. Nanette Chadwick. Thank you very much. <laughs>